What's up guys, Lance the Obscure Movie Guy coming to you once again and it is Memorial Day weekend and no, I am not doing any Memorial Day themed movies this time. Save that for next year. Still work in progress trying to get through some things. Um, but that being said, check out my new Freddy. Compliments of Sister Casey. Um, anyways, new video today. We're going to be talking about zombie comedies a zombie if you will i love zombie movies and <laughs> zombie comedy movies are uh hilarious to me and uh, there's a ton of them out there uh, not to mention that there's a ton of zombie movies out there i've touched on some zombie stuff here in the past um and i'm going to continue to touch on them um but we all know z nation i've mentioned that a couple times it's one of my favorite shows uh, of all time um not to mention the walking dead which i have kind of steered away from because it's just it's run its course um but zombie movies, man. And today we're going to talk about three comedies that are zombie-influenced. And the first one I want to talk about is 2014's Cooties. In the town of Fort Chicken, Illinois, a batch of poorly prepared chicken nuggets containing a mutant virus arrives at the Fort Chicken Elementary School, where it turns the elementary kids into zombies. Stars Elijah Wood, Rain Wilson... Nassim Padrad and uh, Jorge Garcia from uh, Lost. And uh, it's definitely worth the watch. Now, Cooties didn't have a big theatrical release. Uh, it was actually very limited uh, when it was released. Uh, it only did $581,000 in the box office, but it wasn't meant to do a whole lot. And it was actually done by Elijah Wood's production company, Spectrovision, which was kind of cool. Um, but really, an underground, hilarious movie. Definitely worth the watch. And uh, it, it's funny. I mean, the teachers, yes, the kids are zombies. The teachers are trying to not kill the kids, even though they're zombies, but... You know how it goes. The only good zombie is a dead zombie. So, definitely worth the watch. Check it out. You can catch it on Vudu, Tubi, and IMDb TV right now. So, the next one I want to talk about is also 2014 and just as ridiculous, Zombievers. <laughs> yes, beavers that uh, get contaminated with a zombie virus. Uh, and... Again, a hilarious movie, very underground, but totally worth the watch. Yes, Zombievers. <laughs> Simply a ridiculous movie. Uh, while transporting toxic chemicals, a pair of truckers strike a deer and lose one of the canisters, and it rolls into a river, floats downstream, and splashes several beavers with its, uh, at their dam with its goo and turns them into Zombievers. And it is a ridiculous movie. Stars Rachel Melvin, who was in uh, Dumb and Dumber 2, Sleepy Hollow. And Lexi Atkins, who was in an episode of Altered Carbon. And uh, it was uh, directed by uh, Jordan Rubin, who's a stand-up comedian and a writer who has done things. Uh, he's done episodes of The Man Show, uh, The Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn, Late Night with Carson Daly, and uh, Crank Yankers, actually. So, pretty established writer there. So, but really a ridiculous, hilarious movie. One of the truck drivers was actually Bill Burr. Um, and his back and forth with his uh, counterpart was uh, ridiculously hilarious. I believe it was Rex Lynn was the other driver, or the other trucker, I should say. So again, not a real popular movie. It didn't get any big theatrical release. Uh, it did actually have a worldwide premiere at the 2014 Tribeca Film Festival uh, and did just shy of like $45,000 at the box office. Um, but again, a hilarious movie, uh, worth the watch. Uh, you can find it on Amazon Prime right now, Tubi. Um, I think you can even find it on, you can find it on YouTube to buy or rent, uh, but if you got Prime, you can watch it. Uh, Tubi, which is always free and always hilarious. Um, but definitely worth the watch. And there, there is actually, um, so there's like a zombie, uh, beaver bear, uh, at the end of the movie as a quick side note. And, um, it's funny because in the credits, the zombie beaver bear is credited as the Backstreet Boys. So I couldn't find a whole lot of information on it. I couldn't tell if it was just one Backstreet Boy that was, that got, that had the cameo in the suit or if it was multiple Backstreet Boys, uh, collectively as the group that all took a turn of uh, being in this suit. But, uh, there you go. The Backstreet Boys were in Zombievers. So, um... 
The last one I do want to talk about came out in 2016, another underground movie. This one's hilarious, and the cameos in this one is great. It is called Range 15. After a night of debauchery, five military comrades wake up in a drunk tank only to find out while they were passed out in their jail cell, the zombie apocalypse had started, and these guys are all about it. Instead of running for the hills, these guys take them on head on, former military, and yes, that is a sex doll strapped to that man's chest. And he is like that the whole movie. This movie is absolutely hilarious, and the number of cameos is ridiculous. William Shatner, Keith David, Danny Trejo, Sean Austin, Randy Couture, Ron Jeremy, the list goes on. And it says a lot about what five military guys can do, getting all these stars to cameo in their movie. So there we have, at least for Memorial Day, a little bit of a military background. Range 15 was actually a collaboration between... Uh, veteran-run clothing companies Ranger Up and Article 15 Clothing. It was done by Street Justice Films, and it stars legit military veterans. Um, in fact, one of the guys was a Medal of Honor recipient. I don't remember the gentleman's name, um, but uh, Matthew Best, Marcus Luttrell, I mean, they don't really have any type of acting background, but they all actually did a really good job. Um, in this movie is made by veterans for veterans uh, with the help of veterans so I mean and it's it's it is a ridiculous movie it is absolutely hilarious I was really surprised by this one because I thought the production value was gonna be absolute shit going into it and it wasn't they did really cool really cool stuff with a limited budget uh, obviously there was no theatrical release for this thing um, but you can catch it on YouTube for free again to be um, which is probably my favorite free streaming app right now. Um, but really, Range 15 was probably the most impressive out of these three and totally worth the watch. Uh, the jokes in it are ridiculous. Yes, that guy had a sex doll strapped to the front of him the whole movie. He falls in love with her. It's ridiculous. It's meant to be. Um, and again, the, the, the acting was really well done uh, on the part of the veterans, uh, which is... Uh, I mean, it's a comedy. Maybe it was easier for them to do a comedy than, than as opposed to being, uh, play something serious since they've already been through so much serious crap. Um, but definitely worth the watch. Any of them really are. Um, Cooties was pretty good. Again, really well done. Um, Zombievers, uh, <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, you got to stop and watch it just to see what it's all about. Uh, but Range 15 was probably uh, one of my favorites out of this bunch here for sure. So, guys, that's my take on zombie comedies, zombies, if you will. And uh, I've got a whole list of more to go through that I actually kind of can't wait to get to. But, man, I've got a list of 100 movies to try and talk to you guys about just to try and keep our minds off of all the dumb crap out there. And uh, the world's losing its mind. And I really wish we could just sit back, watch some mindless television, and talk about some stupid movies. So talk to me like subscribe and comment to the youtube channel follow me on facebook and let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below have you guys seen any of these is there a comedy zombie movie out there that you guys like i mean obviously Shaun of the dead is the staple that's probably my favorite it's definitely in my top 25 favorite movies but uh range 15 zombie beaver or zombievers and uh cooties they're all pretty pretty hilarious to watch so guys give me a like share the video and i'll see you in the next one